Welcome, Raydan, 2018. You go into part. Open flat pattern that you guys sent us. And here it is. The only differences that I've made on here is I put A for angle and R for radius. And then change the color of these lines. Now if I go into here, my upfold template, you got your radius R, which represents the radius, angle A, which represents angle, and then you can have a setback in there if you want to too. You can measure from inside or outside. Um, my geometry pen is the geometry right here. Then I got my up pen, which is number two, it's red. And then my down pen is three, which we have no downward bends. And then if there's no geometry on the line, then it's gonna use your default bend radius or your default bend angle. And hit okay. As you can see over here, it created all my bends for me. And just to go back to show you that the pen colors, so down would be number three, number two is what I use for up, and then one was for my geometry. And I just go and click on this button. It tells you your part name, your material, your thickness. Um, hit upfold. It was successfully created a 3D upfold. So I hit OK, go over to 3D, hit Save Changes, yes. Now it has created a 3D model of the flat pattern. Now from here, I go into Rad Bend. My part's selected, so I'm just going to hit Apply. Open up Red Bend. It's already gave me a sequence on how it wants to bend it. Now, if I wanted to, I could go in here and change the sequence on however I want it to bend, or what I think it was want want would be the best uh, way to bend it. So in here, I'm going to go to find material, which is mild steel. Hit OK. Um, under tools, I'm just going to do automatically. So it automatically selects these two. Uh, you got your upper tooling and your lower tooling. Um, automatic tools and change. Goes ahead and does that. Brings that in. see how it does it and if you want to simulate it you can just hit simulation and you can actually scroll in here and see how it's going to bend your part be your part after bent. Then over here you could hit compile which is going to give me an NC file 
Then we can save this. Then I can actually take that code, go to the press break with a USB drive, stick it in there, and you can upload that program for your operator to look at and see, and you can save that program so you would never have to create another program. Thank you.